Palm Island residents have welcomed the announcement of a $30 million payout and apology to settle a class action launched after the violent riots in 2004. But the Queensland Police Union says it's the officers on the ground at the time who deserve the sympathy. For Yvette Nicholas, the memories of November 2004 are still raw. It was sad. It was something that I really don't want to see anymore, like, again. She was just five when Cameron Dumaji died in police custody, sparking violent riots across Palm Island. In the days following, police searched homes and arrested locals. The police barged in the old squad with the old uniform and everything. Lex Watton was convicted of inciting the riots and launched legal action in 2015. He says the fight for justice has taken a toll. In a big way in some sense, physically and emotionally, but um, I'm, I'm glad that we're past it now and uh, we can move on. In 2016, the federal court ruled Queensland police were racist in their actions. And now the state government has agreed to pay $30 million to settle a class action. It's really important in terms of um, drawing a line in the sand. But the police union thinks otherwise. The only people who deserve an apology are the police officers who were on Palm Island, who had their lives threatened. And we must remember, some people were making a phone call to their loved ones to say goodbye. It just shows how reactionary how out of touch, indeed how Neanderthal the police union have become. But the sudden influx of cash into a remote community without a bank has sparked concern. When the word gets out that $30 million is, is hitting the island, that the, the sharks will be out. What I'm saying uh, to our community is to be wise about it. With the settlement comes the sense that the community can now move on, 14 years after the violent riots. The 16 police officers now stationed here on Palm Island have worked hard to build a respectful relationship with the community. Despite the progress, scars still remain. Sally Rafferty, ABC News, Palm Island.